Good morning, everyone. Today is lesson number 45. We're going to learn more about XML. Okay. <clears throat> we're now going to know how to edit it and update the XML. Insert, insert the value in there and create a new tag and see what happens. We're going to use the this library lxml and we're gonna get the e3 and objectify classes okay what it does is you asking for an xml file which is what you want we want we want to look at this xml file which is right here okay we're passing it and we can uh looking at it open XML and then we can read it read read XML and now once when you do those you cannot do you're gonna do a <coughs> you since you have the class library here you can just find out what's going on from string XML and then let's find out what you have in here root dot you have you can export you can append it you can do select in here you can set it you can have a key and you can do a find find pet and find all and get get children do uh, literation I think that's pretty much it for this uh, objectify classes okay so what we're going to do next is we're going to get the attribute assigned to it and you're going to get the appointment extracted you get an ID value from it and then you're going to do uh, the function here get the children and then do a for loop twice basically from the root to the uh, to the uh, children appointment you go to app and then go to e and then you're gonna print it by sign this a tag should be the id which you have right here and the text would be the value you have right here you see that it's called format string this assigned to this this assigned to this and then you're gonna keep it into the loop Let's do that and then you're gonna add uh, element to here and so look let's look at the value you have in here this is the old value you have and this is the new value you have you can add element let's see actually you're gonna update it right before you have this value it's gonna change to something else see that upon the begin you're gonna assign to something else and then you're gonna save it print it mean setting it and you're going to you also be able to add a new tag or what I call new element find by me set that new element you new new data and it's going to be printing at the end of the tag which is right here okay before you have nothing now you have this thing okay and then you're going to do some cleanup okay the node clean namespace and then you're gonna in uh, chain uh, make it pretty good too which is fine they make it uh, convert whatever the value you have into a string and then you're gonna save into this object and then you're gonna print the object when you got that you can save to a new file by set new XML which is what I have in here right you have W stand for bright, B is for a binary. I always use binary, okay? Because if you leave this blank, uh, it's gonna be uh, gibberish, okay? So when you do that, you're just gonna write it, and that's it. And that's the end of the uh, program, and you're gonna see what you have in here. You're gonna have some new value from the old one. You can change to new value, and the new element you're going to add to the end of the tag beginning tag and tag okay 
And that's it. That's how you do it. Okay. It's something new that this is another class of library that you can use. It's called LXML. And you import these two classes. Okay. All right. Thank you for watching. It's five minutes. I hope you learned something today. See you guys next time. Bye.